Good everyone, you're watching Ready to Fix This. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix if you're not able to launch camera in your Windows machine or else you might get an error message saying that 0xA00F4244 error message whenever you're trying to launch camera in your Windows machine. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to make sure your camera drivers are up to date. Do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then look for the device manager. Click on it. Once you have the device manager, you will have to go ahead and locate for cameras. So in my case, the camera has been connected right here and you can expand the camera and make sure the camera drivers are up to date. So in my case, the camera driver was disabled. That's the reason I see an option which says enable device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on enable device. This will go ahead and enable the camera device from the device manager. And at the same time, I will also make sure the drivers are up to date for my camera in my Windows machine. So I'll do a right click again and then click on update driver. Choose the first option which says search automatically for drivers and then select search for updated drivers on Windows update. This will redirect you to the Windows update page. Check for any updates available. So in case if there are any updates related to your Windows or to your hardware, it will go ahead and install those updates. Once the updates are installed, restart your computer and check if you are able to open camera on your computer. Now the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to make sure your camera app is turned on in your Windows machine. Now to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you are on the settings click on privacy and security. Under privacy and security on the right hand side look for camera click on camera make sure the camera access is being turned on so click on toggle this button to turn on the camera access with this uh, you're making sure the camera app is turned on once this is done you may try to launch camera app and check if it works if it works well and good you don't have to try the next step now the, the third step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to reset your camera app or repair your camera app in your windows to do this you can do a Right click on the start button again and then click on settings once you are on the settings page you may go ahead and click on apps under apps you may go ahead and click on installed apps under installed apps you can go ahead and look for camera so it would be in alphabetical order click on the three dotted lines and click on advanced option under advanced option make sure the camera app permission is being turned on for all the list of list here at the same time uh, you can scroll down on the same window and click on repair once you click on repair wait for the repair to complete what this will do is it will try to repair the camera application by itself to see if there are any issues once the repair is complete you can also try to launch the camera app from the start menu and check if it works. If it works well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the next step is to go ahead and reset your camera app. So to reset, click on the reset, click on reset again. What this will do is the app will go ahead and reset your camera app for your windows and that will check if there are any issues related to the uh, camera. Once it is done, you may close this window, restart your computer and check if your camera is working. In case if it is working well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the last step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to, in case if you have an external camera, try disconnecting the camera and connect it to your different port and see if it works. If it works well and good, you don't have to try the next step. As a last step is to go ahead and uninstall the camera app from your computer. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you click on settings, you may go ahead and click on apps. Under click on apps, click on installed apps and look for for camera click on this three dotted lines click on advanced option under advanced option also make sure you click on uninstall what this will do is this will go ahead and uninstall the app from the computer so you may go ahead and click on uninstall so this says uninstall this app and settings your documents will not be affected so this will go ahead and uninstall the app once it is done you may go ahead and close this application restart your computer once you restart your computer look for camera app and see if the camera app is located this should not show up in the list because you have uninstalled the camera app from your computer to install back the camera app what you will have to do is you will have to go to Microsoft Store, open Microsoft Store on your computer. Once you open Microsoft Store, you will see a set of applications which are available to install from the Microsoft Store. So wait for the list to populate. Under this, search for camera. You will see the best results. What you would see is Windows Camera at the very top. Click on the Windows Camera and then click on Get. 
with this what it will do is it will start downloading the camera app for your windows wait for the download to complete once the installation is complete you may go ahead and click on open and that should open the windows app on your computer so this should definitely fix a problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day.